Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for you. My name is Candy. In this video, I'd like to tell you how to find protons, neutrons, and electrons numbers of atoms and ions. Okay, we have aluminium. So aluminium, the top number is called mass number, and the bottom number is called atomic number. The mass number is the number of protons and neutrons. Atomic number is the number of protons. But in an atom, it's also the number of electrons because the number of protons and electrons are the same. So a proton number is 13. Electron number is 13, as the number of protons and electrons are equal. And, and the number of neutron is 14. The way to find the number of neutron is by doing mass number, take away Atomic number. So 27 take away 13 will give us 14. So this is how it works for an atom. Now, what about iron? The important thing in iron, the protons and the neutrons are constant. So the number of protons and neutrons doesn't change. But the electrons is different. So we will not expect the number of protons and electrons to be equal. Obviously, there's two types of iron. Positive iron and negative iron. If you have a positive iron with the number x on the top, for example, if you want to find the number of electron, then decrease the number of electron by that x number. So I'm going to show you an example over here, a positive ion. Let's say we have aluminium 3 plus. We know that for the normal electron is 13. So in 3 plus, what do we do? It's 3 minus 3. Uh, like I said over here, decrease the number of electron by x. So it's giving us an electron. For a negative ion, if you have a minus x, then increase the number of electron by such x number. Okay, an example, I'm going to take the same aluminium, I'm going to write minus 2. Now, electron normally is 13, and if it's minus 2, I need to increase the number. So plus 2, which gives me 15 electrons. So this is how you do it. So I repeat again. If you have a positive ion, just decrease the number by such x number. And if you have a minus, just increase the number of electron, whatever the number is found on the x. It's very simple. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share it with your friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.